Hi guys, and I'm back again with another video. So, this video is going to be about how I broke my ankle. And yes, guys, I did break my ankle. I, I didn't really show you guys on YouTube. But I'm sorry that I did it, guys. I don't know why. But anyway, so yeah. I was, I was in PE when I broke my ankle. I was in school. So it, we go to PE at 1 o'clock. So I went to um, PE after we finished. Um, after we finished exercising, we um, had to run. So guys, this time my um, camera went dead. But look at what I was saying. What I was saying. Yeah, so this is where we had to run around. Like, I go to a, um, a church school, I go to a Baptist school. So, it's like like a little hole. It's a big thing that we have to run around for PE. So, when it gets to that turn, when we turn around, run like around, like, I, I fell, and my ankle went like this. To invest your time and energy into building a country. I actually supposed to like this. I twisted a lot. So that day when I came home from school, I told my grandmother that my leg was hurting. My ankle actually, my ankle was hurting. So it's it was about it had to be like eleven something at night. I don't remember the time, but it had to be like eleven something at night. So I. Started crying because my ankle was hurting really, really bad to the point where I was crying. So, my grandmother took me to urgent care. And when I left from urgent care, it was about one something in the morning, I think. 40 years ago, I started. They said that they didn't really know that I had to go to a professional doctor because they, they don't do x rays there. So they put like a little false splint on my leg. And they gave me crutches. So I wanted crutches for like a couple of days and so. A couple of days, probably a week or so. I don't really know. So they gave my grandma a prescription where I could go to a place. I go to a place. So that place only took kids 14 and older. Mind you, I'm eight. So I could not go. So my grandma called the people and they scheduled her with Nicholas kids, child, child um, hospital. So I went to the hospital. I got to the hospital. So the doctor, he took my leg and I told him where I hurt it. And then he told us, me and my grandmother, that my leg was broke. So he said that I need a cast for about, I had the cast on for about like three weeks. Mom, was it three weeks? Mama. Yeah, she wasn't sure. But yeah, I think, yeah, it was three weeks. I had the cast on for three weeks. I think it was Monday I got my cast taken off. And then I just add some chickpeas, so, a can of chickpeas that I But anyway, so he asked me what color I wanted, and I said pink. So he put the pink bandage on. I didn't have to walk with any crutches anymore, but I had to go downstairs and buy a boot. So my grandma bought the boot, and I left the hospital, and I went home. And I missed school for a couple of days. Yeah, I missed school. A couple of days. But then I went to school, mind you, I still have the cast on my leg, but I still went to school and I couldn't go to PE, do any physical stuff, I couldn't run or do anything, so, um, it was two weeks I had to have the cast on, he said one more week, so I waited one more week and it's like, Monday I got my cast on, so, so, yeah, I got my cast taken off, and my leg is much better now. It's way healed because I think I got my cast taken off. Let me see. It was either in December or November. 
And we are not done yet. Coming up next. It was either in November or December. I forgot. I think it was in December. Yes, it was in. I got my cast to off in December. So, yeah, guys. That's my story time. So, click on the video. Like and subscribe to my channel. And leave comments down below on this video. Leave okay, comments, please. And see you guys later. Bye. Peace.